Got probably 40 uh, Civil War artillery shell fragments here that we're going to be loading up into a container that we can seal. And that's important because the vinegar will evaporate if you aren't able to seal the container. And you'll have to constantly be refilling your container with vinegar. We don't want that, so we are going to make sure and have a container that we can seal up tightly. Luckily this little Folgers container will work nicely for that purpose. We're going to put the more delicate items right here on top so I can keep a closer eye on them and ensure that we're not going too far with this vinegar process. And last I'm going to put in a little brass item that has some iron rust on it that I'd like to remove. So we're going to try that out as well. Alright, the next step is going to be to fill this uh, with some vinegar. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're going to seal this up and wait. I'm going to go ahead and put a label on here so that I know exactly when I started this process. And that's it. It's kind of crusty. Okay, we're going to have to find a pan we don't care about, load our artillery shell fragments into the pan, bring it to a nice boil. We're also going to add a little bit of baking soda to the mix. And what this is going to do is neutralize any of the salts and any of the uh, chemicals that were created 
during the electrolysis and vinegar cleaning methods, whichever method you might have used, vinegar or electrolysis, or both in this case, that's going to neutralize all that stuff before we treat the shell um, for permanent display. So mix some of that in there. We're going to bring it all to a boil and repeat the process several times. And then we're going to bake these pieces of artillery in the oven to dry out any excess moisture. And a word of caution, always do this procedure when your loved one is not at home. So with that, let's watch a pot of water boil. Now we're just going to try and drain this dirty water off and replace it with some fresh water. Repeat the process. You really want to empty this out and rinse the pan out because that's where a lot of the sludge is going to be hiding. It comes off of these. Make sure you get rid of all that. Round two, fight! So at this point we're going to need to treat these and there's two ways you can go about that. You can either do it with a hot wax treatment, which I believe I've covered in another video, or you can cover them with a rust converter, which is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be using a, a, a rust converter. You can order these such as Gimplers. There's others you can get online. And basically I'm going to just paint on a very thin layer of this onto each one of these uh, pieces of shell fragment. And this will turn purple as you're painting it on and it will dry to a nice kind of black coat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. When I'm done, we'll take a look at these finished pieces. Okay, we are finished up with these fragments here. They've dried up and they're looking pretty good. Let's see, I think this is one from earlier in the video. Um, as you can see, it's gotten most of the rust off of there and it's given it a nice coating. There is some rust down in these deep pockets here. And I could have worked a little harder, but when you've got so many little fragments to work with, doing electrolysis and fine work on each one of these can be quite uh, time consuming and difficult. So this vinegar and rust converter method works really great for me for those purposes. And I think it, it delivers a, a pretty decent end result. So when you got a big bucket full of shell fragments to do, this is a nice convenient method. Well, I hope you enjoyed taking a little look at the process today I use for cleaning small iron relics. It's helped me a lot in the past, and I hope that it might help you in the future. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed today's content, make sure and subscribe. Hit the little bell notification button over there. Try and make content like this all the time to help you guys out. With that, I hope you have a great day in the life, and we'll see you next time.